Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today in this tutorial we are continuing our discussion on the time module. In the previous tutorial we discussed some methods using that we can get the current time like local time, time function and ASC time. In this tutorial we are discussing about how to get the information about the upcoming days or previous days. For that we'll use MK time method mk time method will take tuple as a parameter so first we need to create a tuple so i'll give my tuple name as tuple1 and parenthesis and here first i need to mention the year so i'll mention 1993 okay then followed by the month i'll mention 6 okay this is the june and month day so I'll mention as 8th day of that month and R 9 o'clock 20 minutes 3 seconds okay which day of that uh, week right so I don't know about that so I'll mention 0 0 that is which day of that year and daylight savings also I'll mention 0 this is my tuple now i'll use mk time that is time dot mk time and tuple one okay and i'll enter and here we can see the time in the seconds so to get this output in the tuple form i'll use local time method for that time dot local time time dot mk time and tuple one so i'll enter here we can see the output in the tuple form year is 1993 month is 6 month day is 8th 8th day of that month hour is 10 minute is 20 second is 3 and in the tuple we didn't mention about the weekday and year day right here we can see the answer for that it is the first day of that week and it is the 159th day of that year and here we can see daylight saving is 1 and here you can check r is 10 actually we gave the input as 9 but here we can see 10 if you remember in the previous tutorial i explained about that this is the june month and as i explained in my place summer is from april to july so this is june so here we can see daylight saving is 1 and r is 10 as i said in this summer clock is set 1 hour forward from the standard time so here we can see it is 10 and i'll take another example okay and here i'll change the month and i'll make this as 12 okay that is december fine now i'll use And enter and here we can see daylight saving is 0 and r is 9 only because month is december so daylight saving is 0 so here we got the output like this okay next we'll discuss another method which is belong to time module that is sleep using sleep method we can delay the execution of the instruction i'll show you an example okay here first i'll import time module and after that i'll print a sentence okay hello people okay now i'll save this and run this and here we can see hello people instantly we got the output right now what i'll do is i'll use sleep function here time dot sleep by five seconds okay now i'll save this and run this After 5 seconds, we got the output. And here, I'll change this to 10 seconds. Okay. Now, I'll save this and run this. And here we can see. Hello, 
and now we can see the output so using sleep method we can delay the execution of the instruction okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll meet you next class till then take care